In this video, we're going over the best vehicles to go on the offensive with in GTA Online. Air, land, and just special vehicles in general, that's what we're going to go over today. Beginning with the best weaponized helicopter we have in the game, the Akula, which has such a big variety of weapons to use. My favorite weapon out of them all, which makes your screen shake like crazy, is definitely the carpet bombing. What you need to do for it is hold right on the D-pad to open the bomb bay doors, and then hold A or X on PlayStation, which is gonna continuously spam bombs dropping from the bottom of the helicopter and that's gonna cause absolute mayhem when it's gonna land on the ground under you it kind of feels like mini nukes and as long as you're flying right above the target you're trying to hit hold down a or x on playstation and you are all good to go it also has an explosive cannon which is a little bit hard to use just because steering this helicopter is sometimes a little bit tricky i found that the slightest of movements almost flips the entire helicopter so it takes a little bit of getting used to and then of course you also have homing missiles on it which is pretty obvious it's also an armored helicopter which is really uncommon to see amongst other helicopters it's usually just one explosion and that's it but the akula is as good as it gets when it comes to helicopter armor it takes several missiles to fully blow it up so it's not gonna immediately blow up after getting shot with one missile makes it much safer to be in but the downside of this helicopter is definitely the handling of it i'd say other helicopters like the buzzard and the sparrow have way better handling and are way easier to use than this one then again this helicopter is armored the other ones aren't so you just gotta pick and choose what you prefer it's got a pretty unique feature called stealth mode which only a select few vehicles have in the game when you activate it it puts you off the radar but you can't use weapons while you're in stealth mode so that's kind of a limitation with it clearly a great helicopter let's move on to a very different vehicle the ramp buggy now i do feel like this one's gonna surprise some people but hear me out when you Using the ramp buggy obviously you flip cars that's the point of the vehicle it's just a ramp on wheels and when you continuously flip someone over they can't really do much in terms of defending themselves because if you flip them over you have enough time to turn around and flip them again and again and again definitely a very uncommon strategy but i find myself actually having a lot of fun with this one and two it just limits the other player to be able to do anything to you unlike with the akula you don't have all the explosive protection and all that so you definitely got to be careful careful but this is one nice strategy that i had a lot of fun with in the game player scene i just met a random person in a vigilante luckily he didn't actually lock onto me with missiles because he could have easily blown me up but we just decided to have fun he used my car as a ramp and then he boosted up into the air and went flying super far away so not your typical attacking vehicle to use in gta online but it's a cool one next one is gonna be a very clever strategy that i personally think is super underused in GTA Online. One of the money tech options that's barely used across the community, everyone goes for the missile lock-on jammer, but I'm referring to the remote control unit. It's the cheaper option out of the money tech options, and I haven't seen a lot of people use it whatsoever. The missile lock-on jammer is very useful for defensive purposes, but if we're going on the offensive, the RC unit basically gives you an option in the interaction menu to just use a full-size vehicle of yours completely remotely, so there's no driver in the driver's seat and it's kind of like a ghost driving your car because you can freak out other online players they see a car coming at them with no driver and as you're seeing in the gameplay here i just managed to crash into people and get them super confused and bump other players on foot which were super confused because this one guy was just shooting my car but clearly he had no idea where the driver of the car is exactly like going into the rc bandito and the rc tank your character just goes invisible he kind of like despawns and then you're just in full control of the remote control vehicle it's the exact same thing with this remote control option in the interaction menu you just disappear off the map and you're completely off the radar as you're driving the vehicle remotely this is easily one of the best trolling methods in gta online especially because the maximum he could do is just blow up your vehicle and then you respawn with your character and so you're pretty much completely safe as long as you act like a ghost like this in gta online all you need for it is an agency with the vehicle workshop so you can actually put the imani tech on your imani tech car like the Buffalo STX or the Jubilee that you're seeing in the gameplay, also the Omni CGT. I have a video on the best Imani tech cars, so you can go watch that video and then see what other cars you can put it on. Another great offensive vehicle is the weaponized Ignis. It's only available on current gen consoles, so if you're still stuck on the PS4 and Xbox One, I don't think you have that one in your game. So this very expensive weaponized supercar has a super strong minigun on the top of the vehicle, and it's probably the strongest minigun I've ever seen. It's way 
way stronger than the regular minigun you have as a weapon in the game, and a hundred times better you have on the machine gun, let's say for example on the buzzard. This thing is an absolute tank that can blow up any street vehicle within a matter of a few seconds. Doesn't matter if it's a small car, doesn't matter if it's a giant truck, it's gonna be able to blow up things super quick. The damage this thing has to vehicles is actually crazy, and I'm guessing it would also be able to take out people on foot relatively quick too, obviously. And when you combine this high damage minigun with a very quick supercar, it also has great performance given the price of this thing too. Next one is one of the most expensive vehicles in the entire game. It's the Raiju. It's kind of combining the P996 laser with the Hydra, so it's got hover mode, it's got regular plane mode. It's mainly useful for if you want to land in a tight spot, so you would just hold right D-pad to go into hover mode, and then it's much easier than going at 200 miles per hour trying to land a plane in a tight spot like that. It is also the fastest jet in the game, making it pretty much the overall fastest vehicle. And when it comes to customization, usually air vehicles have really bad customization. It's usually very, very basic options, if anything. But the Raiju actually has a decent amount of options. A lot of really cool liveries, I have to say. Solid variety of weapons, as you'd expect on a jet. It's got the explosive machine gun and homing missiles equipped with it. So overall, very good all-around vehicle. One of the top vehicles people use in this game now. Although I still think the $7 million price tag is a bit too much. Then we've got the Toridor, a vehicle that could go both on land and in water. Let's say the person you're up against is on a yacht or maybe in a submarine. You're still able to reach them with this Toridor. You just need to drive in any body of water, hold right D-pad, and then you go into submarine mode, you can call it. All of the other submarine type vehicles are extremely slow, like the Stromberg and the actual like yellow submarine you can buy. The Toridor is much faster with the rocket boost it has on the back of it. Plus it recharges really quick as well, so you can activate a boost every like two seconds or so. And you can even use the weapons it's got, the homing missiles and the machine gun underwater as well. If you're in any type of sea battle situation, the Toridor is by far the best vehicle you can use for it. Another vehicle from Warstock, we have the Phantom Wedge. This one has a huge ram on the front of it, and it's arguably the best ramming vehicle we have in the game. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any explosive resistance like the ramp buggy. These are two vehicles that are more made for trolling, I would say. Probably more for a friendly battle if you and your friend are just looking to ram each other. The Phantom Wedge is probably what you want to go with. It's a pretty good matchup against even the biggest of arena vehicles. It's pretty entertaining to go on the right side of the road on the highway against traffic and just ramming every vehicle that comes towards you. It doesn't really have homing missiles or anything like that, but it just has one primary weapon, which is the ram on the front of it. If it didn't have the ram on the front of it, it's just a basic truck, honestly. But what's your go-to vehicle for going on the offensive in GTA Online? Let me know down below in those comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Help us get to 200,000 subs. That'd be awesome. Click the video on screen now to see the best vehicle for each class of GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video, and peace.